You're just back from the Eurobasket. Um, how was the overall experience? Yeah, the experience was great. Uh, playing, playing with the best players in Britain against some of the best teams in the world. I mean, it's something that guys always dream about playing against the best players. And I've got an opportunity to do that again uh, for the second time. We played in Eurobasket 2013 and 2017. Now it's always always great to play against the uh, good opposition, good individual players. Yeah, obviously, you didn't manage to pick up a win, but do you take the positives from the fact that you were able to compete with these teams? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, they're some of the best teams in the world. These guys have moved on to the, the, the next round and there have two teams that have moved on to um, the, the semi-finals. So um, playing against the best teams, it was very difficult. Um, a couple of games, we ran them really close. Uh, we just couldn't finish the game off, but take some positives from it. It's all about experience for, some, for the guys as well and, and for myself, I, I really enjoyed it. In the warm-up friendlies uh, down at the Copper Box, did you feel a difference in the atmosphere playing there compared to the Emirates, or is the fact that the Glasgow Rocks are the only professional team in Scotland, does that make it easier? I mean, the, the atmosphere was really good this time. Um, last year when we played against Hungary and Macedonia and Luxembourg, the, the crowd was kind of low, but now this year down the Copper Box um, against Greece, it was amazing, great atmosphere, uh, fans were really behind us. Um, like you say, it's a lot. It's similar. The, the, the crowd here is great. One of the best crowds in the league. It's always fun playing the home game. And Coach Garbalotto was announced as the Scotland Commonwealth Games coach when you were away. Are you do you think that um, he can help you in the late securing the Cara transition into the international stage because you'll be working with him on a day to day basis? Yeah, it's, it's definitely going to benefit us. Um, we're going to be working with every day. He knows our game. He'll know our game inside out and what we need to work on, what we, what, what benefits us, and what what um, helps us put us in the right position to, to succeed. Which is it's always great to work with a coach on a regular basis. And have you had the chance to speak to him about the his plan? for the upcoming season? Um, I've spoken to him uh, numerous times about um, what his plan is and what his vision for the team is. Um, now it's just about bringing everybody together. Uh, me and Kieran are first day training today uh, with the new guys as well. So bringing all that together is the, the focus for the next couple of weeks before the first October game. And you were at the USA game uh, as a spectator on Sunday. Uh, what did you make of the team's performance? Yeah, it was good. I mean, it's the f- first time some of the guys have played together. Um, it's hard to say, hard to judge from some of the guys on one one um, appearance, but yeah, I think it was a great start. It's just nine days to go until the All Stars Championship in London. Um, how big a thing do you think that is for the BBL to be on live on Sky Sports? Oh, it's, it's great to be back on live TV again. It's excellent. Um, a little different rules coming with the the All Star Championship. Um, but I'm sure we'll, we'll adapt to it on the day and see see how things go. And finally, uh, how excited are you for the upcoming season and what are your ambitions for the team? Uh, for the team, is always to win something. We need to we need to win some silverware. The team has been put together to win something this year. Um, as a personal goal, I just well, I just want to try my best every day and just give everything I've got for this team.